Okay, guys, good morning. Welcome to Sandy's Bash Blog number five podcast. We have some special, special guests in here today, and I'm really excited about this. And they've come a long way, and they've come further than Sonny Bolton, because they've come from the fabulous place of Queensland, Australia. And welcoming first guest, Blake Butler. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, good. Yeah, so first time to the United Kingdom? Yes. And how many days have you been here already? Lost count, probably about three. Three say, days, yeah. yeah. Have you adjusted sleep-wise? Yes, it's a, actually, I have. It's a big trip, isn't it? Yeah. Twelve and a half thousand miles, I believe. Yeah, twenty-seven hours. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And um, well, I was talking to your mum actually last night, and she was saying that you've been sleeping like a baby, so that's a good <laughs> yeah. sign. Yeah. And I'd like to welcome, obviously, uh, your mum, uh, Renee. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, Sandy. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for coming. Um, absolutely. Fantastic to have you guys here, and it's your first time, both of you, to the United Kingdom? Yes, yes. it is. Yeah, so, uh, and your first impressions? Come forward a bit, guys. It's That's um, it. warmer than I expected. Right. <laughs> yeah. This is something that uh, we were talking about last night, and uh, you've packed the wrong stuff, I believe. I've packed a lot of the wrong stuff. I've packed for winter, because <laughs> I've been told cold and rainy. <laughs> it, well, that's standard. And actually, we've had eight months of winter. Yes. It's the longest winter we've probably probably had um yeah eight months of winter basically and you've packed all winter gear yes and you've come over here and it's 20 it's 20 22 23 24 degrees yes. so yeah you've packed wellies yes. umbrellas no and rain and sight <laughs> and it's sunny yes sunny Bolton. yes lucky sunny lucky you have good shopping centers so i've been shopping <laughs> <laughs> Right, Blake, um, just a few facts and figures about yourself. You're 15? 16. I You're 16 think, yeah. now, sorry, I do apologise. Just knocking a year off you. Um, <laughs> when did you start martial arts? Um, probably about four years ago, I'd say. Yeah? Yeah, 2014. Right, and what got you into it? Um, well, I just finished up AFL. I was kind of looking for a sport other than that. Just came across it, got into it, got really into it, started fighting. Brilliant. So how many fights have you had in total? Uh, about eight. About eight fights. Yeah. Brilliant. So this is, a, um, I mean, for someone at your age, this is a fantastic opportunity, yes. isn't it, to go uh, and fight literally the other side of the world, yeah. um, you know, and compete on a show. Um, and for a very good cause as well, because it's, as you're wearing the t-shirts there, and you're wearing your yeah. mum, it's fighting for autism. So uh, do you know anything about that? You know, autism? Have you uh, anything, yes. anything that sort of uh, resonates with you regarding autism? Not that I believe. I don't think so, no. Right. But you know anybody it's that's a really got good it? cause. Yes. Yes, I do. Right. Is anybody in school or family um, or...? Training partners they used to have. And some, some people in school I know do have it, yeah. Right. So it's it's obviously it's a you know it's a good cause yeah. and it's the first time actually. I believe you've, you've got this already fighting for autism in Australia, haven't yes. you? Yes. Yeah. So you guys are ahead of us, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's our first time. Now, um, hopefully while well, Gaz is on his way, um, with his daughter, he's uh, just been taking his daughter for an interview, and he should be pretty much c calling in in the next few minutes. But um, you know, Gaz uh, contacted me because obviously he was living over there for about seven years, formerly from Warrington, uh, back in Warrington, and he's he approached me saying, "Sandy, you know, I want to put a show on. I want to bring this fighting for autism yeah. from Australia to the United Kingdom." Um, but I've lost contact because obviously seven years out, you yes. can imagine, yes. you know, everything changes, doesn't it, in seven yeah, years Yeah, a long massively, time, yeah. You know, um, so he contacted me and I said, well, you know what, I put one show on a year anyway. I said, let's do a joint show, which is where we're up to now. Okay. Um, so I believe you've got a, a daughter as well, Brooke, Brooke, and she's 22. Does she do any martial arts? No, she's completely opposite to Blake. So she's happy to be a homebody and doesn't like to get sweaty, so... <laughs> <laughs> Whereas yeah. Blake has just been competitive from the day he was born. He just wanted to get out there and run and be active. Right. So he's right. into sports and stuff, Absolutely. yeah? Absolutely. So what's, what's your other favourite sport other than uh, Thai boxing? Probably Australian football. See, yeah. that's better than um, normal football, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I'll yeah, it's more contact. I yes. like that. Yeah. <laughs> like rugby, I like rugby. I'm not, I'm not, not. I call it fool's ball. I'm not a football slash fool's ball fan. So yeah, the uh, the American uh, football is quite, uh, well, it's very, it's good, isn't it? Um, just to the my right now, we've not said a word yet, but he will be. We've got <laughs> Garvey, Garvey Brennard. He's been on one of these podcasts before, and uh, let's welcome Garvey. All right. How you doing? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, bit shook up. Had an accident on my way in, but. 
Other than that, all right. Right, so a little bit of a bump on the car, but we'll talk about that later. I think is you're all right, you're no injuries, that's the main thing, because nope. is uh, sort of one of the main events for us as well. So we've got pretty much the two main events sat with us here today. We've got a lineup of about, well, uh, Gaz has just informed me, I think we've got something like um, 10 junior fights, that's children's fights and teenage fights, which is obviously the category that you're in, Blake. And then we're going to be having, I think it's eight adult fights. So in those eight adult fights, uh, Gav is going to be in there. Um, so it's a really good lineup. It's set to be at the Monaco Ballroom, which is in Hindley. It's this Saturday. The doors open at three. It kicks off, excuse the pun, at four. And there's still tickets available. Um, let's just talk again about the, let's talk about your upcoming fight. You're fighting a guy called Alex Jones from Kersley Muay Thai. Yeah. Uh, Blake, have you have you seen this guy fight? Have you done any studying on him, or is it uh, is it just um, one of them you're just going in blind? Yeah, basically, I've watched maybe one video, basically blind. Right. Yeah. Okay. So there's no strategy. Are you just going to go and do your thing, or? Uh, probably whatever Gaz and Forsyth do. Right. Yeah. So Gaz Collins obviously is your trainer, and yeah. he's going to be he's in your corner, and he's yeah. uh, he'll have done that, won't he? Yeah. This, it's an interesting subject, this Blake, because as a trainer myself. Um, yeah. And I've got, I've got six fighters on this show, so obviously it's seven with yourself. Yeah. There's the constantly the parents of the kids, children who's fighting. So we've got three three ch three juniors. Yeah. Um, I've got the youngest who's, well, he was only five last week. He turned six <laughs> so only a few days ago. Have you seen him? <laughs> yes. A little archie. Yeah. Um, 17 kilograms. Yes. That's about the weight of, of an arm. Um, he's having his first fight. He's going to open the show. And the, obviously the parents want to know who's the, who they're fighting and, you know, where are they from and what's this and, you know... How big are their eyebrows, and you know, have they got have they got have they got big feet? Or, you know, I'm exaggerating, but they basically ask a lot of questions, and understandably, as a parent, which is what I'm going to approach now, is you. How how do you feel as a mother watching your? Have you watched your son? I have you, hate. Have you, is it one of these? Yeah, yeah, it is. I I feel I need to be there, but I hate watching it. Um, but I need to support him because this is what he's chosen to do, and as a mother, I need to allow him to reach his full potential. And if this is where he feels he needs to be, then that's what he needs to do. Brilliant, well that's, you know, that is the, the perfect mum really, you yeah. know what I mean? Um, I had 21 fights, not a massive record, uh, but it was pretty good, I won three titles. Um, I only lost two on points, so, and two draws. So 17 wins, two draws, two losses I had. Uh, you know, a reasonable re record, but by today's standards it's not good, because people could have had a lot more than that. Mm -hmm. But back when I was fighting, there, was the, there wasn't much awareness of Thai boxing. Yes. And, um, you know, so it was difficult to get the fights. I remember one year I had um, three pullouts in one year. Yes. And that was that really messed my head up. Now, jumping on the mother thing, um, my mum never came to one of my 21 fights. She refused. Okay. On the grounds of she didn't like it. She didn't like fighting. She didn't like anybody getting hurt. She didn't want me to hurt my opponents even. Yes. She said, she watched the video once, and this is quite funny, this is a true story. My mum's behind the couch. All my family's, because I never let my, actually I wouldn't let my family come to watch the fights. I, no one ever came, okay. ever. My yeah. dad, I've got three brothers, um, but there's only one show where I let my brothers and my dad come to watch, yeah. to a British title. Okay. And my mum actually begged me to let them come. And it was only because of my mum, never been to a fight, said, uh, please let your dad go and watch, because if he never gets to see it ever in his life, you know, he'll be disappointed. Yes. Um, and you, could your brothers go? And I was like, no, I don't want to learn. And my mum said, Sandy, please. As your mum, I'm asking you, begging you almost, please let them go. And I couldn't refuse that. And my mum didn't go. Yes. But afterwards, the, the, back then it was VHS videos. <laughs> um, stuck it in the VHS recorder yeah. on the telly. We all came in and sat around, sat around and watched the fight. And my mum stood behind the couch. Oh, no. Nice. In the back of the room. Like, ooh, ah, uh, ooh. Yes. And then <laughs> the first part of the fight, actually, I was getting a bit, a bit, a bit of a kick in, in the first couple of rounds. And uh, my mum's going, ah. Oh, stop 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 and I'm like well stop the video you know um, she says he's hitting you he's hitting you I went mum just calm down You're right. I won the fight you see? I yes. won the title and obviously I knew what everybody know but my mum even my mum knew because I'm still here you know, it's not like I'm, I'm dead and she's like what, what's going on and then the third round I started to beat the guy in the fourth and the fifth so you know it was like a, a victory in that sense but <laughs> ironically my mum then in the third fourth and fifth said Stop it! You're it, you're hurting him. Oh. You're hurting him. Stop it! Stop it! So I'm like, Mum, this is a video. It's not live. And I was like this. So that's why you don't come to my yeah. fights, Mum. Unbelievable. Anyway, so as a supportive mum, you are here. Obviously, you've yes. made this massive trip. Yes. Um, you know, and you made a massive commitment to get off from Australia to do this. 
Uh, it must be very nervous and very exciting for you, I'm guessing. Yeah. And proud. <laughs> Absolutely. Proud that he's, he managed to, because he suffered anxiety as a lot when he was fighting and he's overcome that and got himself on the plane and left his other trainer at home because um, we're with um, Corporate Bo- Box Valley at the moment. So right, Glenn what's Hodgins. His tra- what's your trainer called, Blake? Glenn Hodgins. Glenn Hodgins. Hodgins. So yeah. a big shout out to Glenn Hodgins if you're listening, okay, <laughs> if you're any guys watching from Australia. Um, thank you, and he's in good hands with Gaz, and I'm in his corner as well, so hopefully you know, we, can, we can do you proud by the back at home. And let's have a little shout-out to your dad as well. Um, your dad's name is? Sean. Sean, yeah. so Sean's going to be watching this. I believe you're going to do it live stream, aren't you? We are, we right. are. So yeah. it'll be about five in the morning in Australia, so he's going to get up early, because he's never missed a fight before, so right. this is his first time of not being and at the show. It, right, yeah. yeah. Right, so. cool. Oh, good. Well, well, so we get a massive Australian following yes. on the show. And uh, <laughs> um, you set to fight uh, five two-minute rounds. Yeah. Yeah. Have you done that before, or have the rounds been in? Have you done five one and a half? So what do you actually do in Australia? Um, most of the time it's three threes, I believe. But I have done five twos before once. Yes. Right, it once. So yeah, yeah. It's different around the world because I travel around the world doing commentating, and obviously I've, I've fought abroad myself, and I take fighters abroad. Everywhere's different. I mean, 3-3 seems to be a popular thing now. Even in Thailand, they're doing that with the Thai fight and things. Yeah. Um, so rounds w- over here is a different system. We have um, what's called an N class, mm. a C class, a B class, and an A class. N class basically is five one and a half minute rounds, one minute rest, and they wear shin pads. Some people could almost say an amateur fight, maybe. We then do uh, five one and a halfs again, C class, which is what Garb is doing. And this is where you don't use shin pads, no protection. Yeah. yeah? And then we do the next one up, which is B-class. Now, there's B-class junior and B-class adult. Now, you're still going under the junior because you're not 18. Yeah. So the only difference between you're still doing five twos, but you're not allowed to knee to the face. Yeah. yeah? Elbows to, and knees can go to the body, uh, but no knee and elbow to the head. You, I'm, I'm sure you're yeah. familiar with those rules, right? Yeah. So, um, I mean, really, if you're doing nine minutes, it's, not, it's only a minute more, yeah. isn't it? But in essence, I've always said this to people, that when you're doing th- three rounds, you actually get less rest, obviously, because you only mm. get in two minutes you rest do. over the nine minutes. If you do five twos, you're actually getting double the rest time. You actually get four minutes rest. So if you think about that, even though you're actually doing a, you know two more rounds, yeah. you're actually getting you know twice the amount of rest as you would over three rounds. So it's yeah. actually you can pace yourself better. And I, I found that the first time because I used to fight back in the day. We used to fight three twos, um, which was then C class, which is what you're yeah. doing, Gabby. Um, and then we jumped into five twos or five threes. It just there was only three classes back then, and I remember thinking, "Oh my God, I'm going from three to five rounds." It seems such a big step, yeah. but it actually wasn't. And you you, you actually do you do drop into it. Yeah, and you do. I, I think I, I don't know how do you feel with that because obviously you've said you've done a five yeah. round. Did it? What did it feel like? Not much different, really. Right. Like kind of spread out, same. Yeah. Yeah. So then that's what you're doing here. So you're going to be doing five twos. It's going to be, you're up against, like I said, Alex Jones from Kersley yeah. Muay Thai, which is just on the sort of Bolton and Manchester boundary. Uh, your trainer is uh, Pitbull, David Knowles. Um, you know, the, the gym, that uh, they've not been going, I, I think they've been going about three or four years, I think. But um, the trainer I know very well, Pitbull, he's, um, he, he's a guy who's had over 100 interclubs as a trainer, but he only had about three fights. It was strange. Oh. Had, honestly. He, he would jump in the ring at the drop of a hat, his trainer. He's a really nice guy. He's only young, actually. I think he's about, does he about 20? Just had his 22nd birthday, is it? Something yeah, like that? Yeah, he's only young. Yeah, he's, he's um, a trainer, Pitbull. He's not much younger than me, though, so. Yeah. Probably about 23. 23-ish, yeah. So that's the guy you're fighting, anyway. So, um, you know, it's going to be an interesting fight. It's going to be a good match. Um, you actually trained last night at my gym, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, so thank you for coming to the gym, Bolton Thai Boxing Club. Um, how did you find it? Yeah, it was really good bit different from Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a lot different. I would <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, anyway, I believe you're not here just for the fights. You know, I was talking to your mum last night. You're thinking of making this into a oh, bit of a UK yeah. tour. No, we're heading over to London after. Brilliant. So check it all out while we're here. So not, not waste, you know, the, yeah. the 27 hours that took on the plane. 
<laughs> not not looking forward to that plane flight back. <laughs> no. Who did you fly with? Uh, Emirates. Um, oh, they're good. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. Fantastic. So was it a three a, a three flight or two yes, flights? Yes, a three flight to get here and it'll be a two flight to get back home. Oh, right. Yes. So go on. So you set off from, you flew from Queensland? Or? Yes, from Brisbane, Brisbane to Singapore. Yeah. And then Singapore to Dubai yeah. and then Dubai to Manchester. Right. But going back, you're doing it which way? Uh, Manchester to Dubai and then Dubai to Brisbane. Oh, right. Yes. Oh, that's, well, that's just the yeah. two. That's a bit better. Yes. <laughs> So, what was the longest plane journey you've done? Prior? Have you been on a plane? Oh uh, yes. Right, and what was the what's the longest journey you've done prior to this? How long was that one? Oh, Fourteen hours. Fourteen. Oh, so hours. you've done quite a big one. Where yeah. was that to? Uh, UK. No, no. USA. Right, and yeah. what was you doing there? Um, just a vacation with the family. Right. Yeah. Right. So, um, have all your fights been in the in the Queensland area, or have you fought outside of? So far. Until, up until this one, it was all in Queensland. Right, so I used to a local crowd. So what yeah. type of crowds did you get there? How many? Oh, big crowds. Yeah. Um, the junior um, shows are very big in Queensland yeah. um, because Australia is very strict with their regulations, so a lot of juniors in other states aren't allowed to fight. Uh, we're really lucky in, in Queensland that they are allowed to fight, so we do have junior-only shows, um, and then some of the more experienced boys like Blake will go on to the bigger fight shows. Right. So it's a good like, uh, testing and st- uh, stomping ground. We have the same thing here, but we have what's called interclubs. Yeah, we do. And don't. you don't do those? No. Right, they're massive over here. We've just, we've just had one, and we had um, 91 fights on Okay. Today. <laughs> I don't know who did it in one ring. Yes. And um, so it's that's pretty similar to the thing. So it's a massive junior circuit here, mm-hmm. which basically goes, you know, throughout the UK. It's massive. I mean, you know, we just on the on our show, which is the twenty sixth, there is a big show on called the uh, the Yoko, and that's going to be our most of the juniors, which is one they're talking about. Yes. Unfortunately, it's it's clashed with our date. So we lost quite a few fighters. So Gaz, who's just joined us, by the way. All right, mate. So, how you doing? Yeah, just jumped onto that mic there. So morning, Gaz. Morning, how mate. Doing? How you doing? Good. Good work. Crazy day, yeah? All right, mate. It's been mental. <laughs> so your daughter, Beth, just been for a... She's been for an um, interview at the Navy. Right. Over the last three months, she's dropped a BMI from 31 to 26 and 12 kilos. Fantastic. So, How's the interview gone? Do you know? Um, yeah, it's gone fantastic. There's just got a medical to come through now and then, yeah, off she goes. Right, cool. So. Well, we just had, um, obviously, you've just come straight from there, Liverpool. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Just having a fantastic chat here. Um, we've just been discussing, like, the, his fights, uh, when he started, what got started into it. We're talking about the, the Australian scene. We're having a good chat with Rennie about uh, um, the, the wrong clothing. <laughs> It's your fault, guys. You told, you told her it was cold and winter. <laughs> yeah, when it's always sunny oh, in Bolton. Oh, no, I did not. I told her, I said, make sure he brings shorts. Did you? Just no, in case. Yes, I did. Jeans. <laughs> yeah, no. I said jeans. as well, but make sure he brings shorts. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the good thing is, you've got to go and spend money on him. I now, do. So you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> <You're Blake. Yeah. laughs> He's not bothered. So, um... Blake, what, um, have, what have you? Obviously, your, your mind is, is totally on the. Um, that's not good timing. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. The your mind is completely on the fight, but yep. after the fight, is there anything you want to do while you're in the UK? Is there anything you want to see or visit or do? Um, Mum's already planned a Harry Potter tour, Harry yeah. Potter world, yeah, <laughs> and. What else are we doing? Oh, just checking out London, just yeah. walking just around. Just all the sites in yeah. London. Yeah. Is exciting. there any particular site in London that you, you know, you've obviously living so far away, and you know, we all, it's like we see stuff in us. Like we, yeah. for us, it's Sydney Harbour, isn't it? Yes. Um, I got to do that with my uh, with my fiance a couple of years ago. We went to um, we started off on the west coast um, in uh, Perth, thank you, <laughs> and then we went over to Sydney. And Sydney, we jumped on a cruise ship, and then we did. Um, Newcastle, uh, Melbourne, and went to see a Tasmanian devil. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, Tasmania. Yeah. And it's apparently it's surprising how many Australians have not been to Tasmania. Never have been. been? No. no. <laughs> have you been? Me, no. There you go. Have you been? No. <laughs> <laughs> have you been? Right, so I can actually see we've, we've seen a Tasmanian Probably ask any Aussie, though, and they'll say it's just a bit that bit hangs off the end of Australia. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> bit. A bit like Wales. <laughs> Is it? Oh, a bit like Wales. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, I sorry. I was watching. Jump, yeah, Carl's watching. <laughs> Ju- sorry, jumping back to that, um, you know, 
for us, it was like, had to have a picture under Sydney Harbour, you know what I mean, and do all that stuff, yeah. which is amazing. So for, for you, is there anything in London where you want to sort of go in front of, or, you know, a, um, a big selfie? Probably Buckingham Palace and London <laughs> Bridge, I think. Right, yeah, yeah those two are there for you. And for, and for yourself, right? Oh, really? definitely Buckingham Palace. Yeah. Yes, and maybe Tower Bridge. And yeah. Tower Bridge, yeah. yeah. Anything else? Um, I want to go for a walk through Hyde Park. Right. I've been told it's lovely. Right. And if the weather still keeps up and it's beautiful. Well, we've actually booked the weather for you. Yes, excellent. <laughs> we've booked the whole weather for two weeks. Yeah, good. Um, uh, next week is even hotter than this week. I've heard it's going to touch between 26 and 27 <coughs> midweek. Good, lovely so, walking weather. There you go. So your wellies, your raincoat, your umbrella <laughs> and your big fluffy jacket can stay in the stay suitcase. Stay packed. Yeah. I'm and sure Harrods is just on the other side of yeah. the Harrods, well. yeah, you'll have to go to Harrods. I, too, I'm yeah. definitely going to Harrods. My daughter has given me a list. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be an expensive trip, this, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oops. Right, yeah. God, so God bless, uh, God bless your dad and his uh, credit card and his debit card. <laughs> Um, Sean's not bothered, he's sat at home drinking a barbecue with people. Sean, that's what he's doing. Right, is there another shrimp, shrimp on the barbie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or is it a prawn? Yeah, it's uh, probably, no, it's Sean, big fast date. Oh, yes, yeah? yes. So, so you know Sean as well, you met him. Like, oh, he's, he's probably my best mate. Is they are? Sure, yeah. We're drinking buddies, we sit mm. in the sea and drink while Blake goes and gets our beer. Don't, don't broadcast you that, s- I'm Bad to get that. 50 presents for guys. Right, while we're talking to people in Australia and around the world, right, we've got about 10 minutes left. Um, I have a bit of like, uh, John Wayne Park, which I'm yes. sure you, yes. is he one of your heroes? Yes. All right, he's one of mine. I actually met John Wayne Park, I think, twice. He's been over to the UK a few times. Yes. Um, and I remember him winning the, the S1 um, in uh, Rajid Amnon Stadium in Thailand. I was there and I got to meet him outside just before I went in. And he was so courteous and had a picture with him and he was really nice and polite. Um, he came second, as I call it, in the, um, uh, what was it called? The Contender. 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 Mm. I watched that. They had that program over here. Yes. Yeah. And, yeah. But, I mean, how he came across, um, it just personifies what a, a real Muay Thai person is about. And, you know, I've, I wanted to, I've only met you twice now, Blake, yesterday in the gym and today. And, you know, you've got a really nice character. You've, you know, you've got this. And, you know, if any advice I could give you, and I'm saying John Wayne Pye would do, is follow in someone like his footsteps. He's a great role model, and he's put Australia on the map in, yep. in, in Muay Thai, hasn't he? And, you know, he, he's phenomenal. Um, but I have a bit of banter with a couple of Australians, one being John Wayne Parr. And this is something I mentioned to you last night, and we're going to have a laugh about this. We, I wear in the gym, usually, a vest, okay, which is like a sleeveless top. Can you just tell everybody what you call them in Australia? Singlet. singlet. A singlet. Yes. Okay, right. That's, what That's the easy one. Right. <laughs> yeah. Somebody, we just punch him for me, please. No, harder than that. Oh. Harder. <laughs> the fighter is here. Right. <laughs> right. I've, I'm wearing something on my feet, okay? <laughs> oh. Ah, yes. Um, yeah, no, you can't get me on the E. You can get me on old shoe, which is all two. Thank you. Uh, right. This is a, well, in fact, I'll introduce you to both of them because this is my friend Flop and Flip, okay? Flop and Flip, Flip and Flop. All right. What are these called, Garvey? Flip Flops. What are they called? Flip Flops. What are they called, Josh? Flip Flops. Thank you. What are they called, Renee? They're called thongs. Pardon? They co- Excuse me? Yes. Oh, there's yes. buttons all over. There's <laughs> buttons again, innit? Bashing buttons again, what we had some during the week. What do you call those? Thongs. How can that be a thong? A thong goes up a lady's bottom. <laughs> no, just, just, they sorry, go between your toes. Pardon? <laughs> they go between your toes. Yeah, I don't want to know. <laughs> Australians, if you're watching, flip flops, flop flips. A thong <laughs> goes up a lady's bottom. All right? It's not a flip flop. Now, if you said sandals, I'd let you off. Yeah, no, they're thongs. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, well, I'm going to put my thongs back on. All right? I'm wearing two thongs. This is official. <laughs> All right. So, John Wayne Pa. They are flip flops. No, I'm going to say that because I'm like 12 and a half thousand miles away and he's not going to hit me. <laughs> um, right, anyway, we've got about, uh, well, no, we've actually got nine minutes left. Um, Blake, a little bit louder, more vocal. Now, what are your thoughts? How, how are you feeling about this fight? Um, yeah, I feel prepared. I made the journey, so gotta give it my all. Right, well that says it all really, that I've made the journey, because you know, like yes. you said, it's a massive commitment, yeah. isn't it? It's the biggest thing you probably ever do. And, oh, absolutely. You know, it's <coughs> a great opportunity, and you know, and a, and a, an amazing thing that you've done, and it's, you know, obviously I want to thank yourself, I want to thank you, I want to thank, you know, uh, your husband, I want to thank guys for putting this together to bring this, like, it's a special treat for us, you know, as well as yourselves. 
um, you know, so I was telling everybody in the gym that you were coming over and they were all excited. I've got little kids who were going, Australia, they're coming from Australia. <laughs> yeah, is he? Is he? Can we see him? Can we see him? Your yeah. little kids were all like, wow. And uh, I said, yeah. And obviously they're all going to be at the fight as well. So they get to see you do it, not just hear about this person, you know, from such a, f a distance away. But uh, yeah. Um, Gabby, obviously you're here as well for a reason. Um, okay. You're going to be sort of, to me, I think, you know, you two guys are sort of the, like the, 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 the core main events, really, aren't they? Mm -hmm. For us, I, w yes. I would say. Um, just running through very th quickly through the list, we've got Little Archie, as we mentioned, mm -hmm. who's yes. like 18, 19 kilo kilograms, just turned six. Um, next up, okay, we have Maddie, who's aged 11. Uh, that's a female fighting a junior. Then we've got Connor, who's 14, and he'll be on the junior bill with yourself. And then, like I said, uh, we're jumping then into the adults. So there's eight, eight fights on in the second half. And up for first for us will be Rebecca Slamming. Is that right, Gaz? Yeah? Yes. Uh, then we're going to have Tiny. You've met Tiny. Yes. <laughs> Did you notice how tiny he was? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah, yeah, I could not mm. see him. He was <laughs> yeah. Are you working metres or feet and inches at home? Metres. Right, yeah. well, he's... Um, so what would that be? Six foot six. Any ideas in metres? Oh, my goodness. Six foot it? six. Uh, That's uh, crazy. Two, yeah. Foot, two ten. Yeah. Two metres ten? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. One eighty one eighty is six foot. All right. Yeah, six inches on top of that is 30 centimetres. Right, because a, a door frame is six six, yes. so he has to go on the to do that because otherwise he just hits it, hits his head just yeah. on the top. There's your card in case so, you Oh, brilliant, thank you. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, Rebecca Slamming, uh, who's going to be fighting for one of these fabulous autism belts. Um, you're going to be fighting for the belt as well, aren't you? Yes. An international one. Yeah. You saw the belt last night, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did. You held it, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> Well, we had to take it off you. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. Temporarily, or do you think uh, is that going to go back to Australia? Hoping so. Yeah. Like I said, you certainly have made the commitment. So, well, just looking at the list here, we've got um, fighters coming from literally all over, guys, haven't we? Yes. Um, just, just wait, go on. Just read yeah, a couple. Of, just read a couple of places that, that, that's making this trip. Oh, people. We've got guys coming over from um, up Newcastle way. Um, coming up from down south, obviously from some place called Australia. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Queensland, eh? <today>. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, obviously we've got local guys coming <laughs> over. You know, we've got um, Simon Green from MSA Stockport. We've got Kersley Muay Thai from around the corner as well in Farnworth, is it? Um, Bolton. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which is in Kersley. It's yeah. supposed to be Kersley. Yeah. Um, not Farnworth. Guys coming up from um, from Bolton, uh, Birmingham, even. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, bam, bam, bam. I don't know where Stewhurst Gym is. Where's that? Uh, good question. Is it in Stockport or somewhere that way? I really don't know. Do you know what? I forgot where he's from actually. Sorry, yeah. Stuart. Yeah, got guys coming up from Crew, obviously, and stuff like that. So yeah, just from all over the place really. Oh, coming up, uh, we've got Twitch. He's a fighting for autism ambassador as well. He's fighting for the belt. He's fighting a lad from um, to, um, from MSA Stockport. So that's going to be a good little fight. I reckon. Yeah, that'd be a good little battle. Good. And then obviously, Garvey, <coughs> okay, you've been quiet throughout. Um, yep. You started with me like 20, over 20 years ago as a junior. Yeah. Um, and you were six, seven? Six. Six years old when he started. He's now 27, so like nearly 20, just over 20 years on, he's back. Um, yeah, <laughs> you are, uh, you're going to be making your professional debut. So, And I know how hard you've trained for this fight, Garvey. You've given up so much. And, you know, I mean, I don't know what to. Uh, you can just, just come in a little bit closer to the mic. And you're. Um, Jade, who you met in my gym, she's. Uh, uh, what's she feeling at the moment about your fight? What's she, what, how's she? Uh, I think she's just excited more than anything to get out. Looking after three, you've yeah. got three. You've got three children. Three, and just tell me about the names of your kids, Garvey. Uh, there's Kamani, who's the eldest. Sienna, Age. oh, he's nine. Yeah. Uh, Sienna, the middle one, she's five, and Aria, she's two now. Right, and are they all coming to the fight? So uh, no, um, they're not allowed. Right, no very much. So just Jade. Yeah, it's just Jade. Right, your mum and dad not coming? Uh, my mum's coming. My dad's not. He's babysitting. Oh. Um, <laughs> just, just like Sean. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right, there we go. But without the kids. Yes. Yeah. So he's, he's babysitting the barbecue. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Right. Okay. Sorry. Go on. Um, my mum's coming. It'll be the only the second fight she's been to since I was a junior, really. So, so, she, so her and Jade will be holding hands, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, just speaking personally about you, Gab, is that, you know, I've, I've seen what you've done for this fight and, you know, I'm sure it's like yourself in any fight. Everyone says it, but, you know, I know it might be cliche, but, <clears throat> excuse me, you are uh, and you have put, you know, I mean, you can only get 100% in a cup, but if you could put 101% in, that's where you are. And, you know, I wish you I wish you good luck with this fight. Thank um, you very much. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a big, 
a big thing for you and yeah. it's going to be well it's going to be amazing you know you've got a lot of hometown crowd obviously behind yeah. you and yeah, uh, looking forward to it good well that's what it's about <laughs> isn't it? I mean you, you've pretty much done your training now it's pretty much over um, light training now I think for these guys isn't that's it now it's, it, it's pretty much yes. done isn't it well I've got a session with Blake tonight up in Preston right uh, I'm going to nip up there to see the boys up in Preston so that'll be Blake's last solid session tonight yeah. and then probably just go for a run with him tomorrow just nice and easy yeah. you know just keep the muscles relaxed and just stretched off and everything just keep him ticking over yeah. way in Friday and then fat boy food yes. <laughs> <laughs> fat boy food like that's <laughs> brilliant that's so well, guys, we've got one minute left. I'm just going to wrap this up and say the last few things. Um, number one, the, the few people have already got the fight card, and it's not the actual running order, guys. Let's make that just be known. Um, Gaz has just done it temporarily, but it's there to let you know who's who's who. We're just going to rejig it today, and it will go out, and we'll send it to everybody. Gaz, good mate. So once we get the, the just is doing that at the moment as we speak. Mm -hmm. um, we're just going to rejig the, the fight order. Um, once we've done that, we'll get that out. The weigh-in is at 6.30 at DW, and that's on yes. Manchester Road in Bolton. Um, hopefully everybody can make that. The Reebok suite. The, the, it's in the Reebok suite at DW Manchester Road, Bolton, yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, tickets are still on sale, so a quick plug for that. Uh, if you want to buy a ticket, it's still time, okay? And you can even pay for tickets on the door. Um, so I'm just going to go, last, just a couple of set of final words from you guys. Um, I'm going to put me on a spot, why don't you? <laughs> very quick final word. What do you, got, what do you want to say? Um, see you all Saturday. That'll do. Ready? Um, thank you for having such beautiful weather and welcoming us. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, uh, Gabby. Um, make sure you're there. Don't miss it because it's going to be good. Fantastic. And the last words, okay, from you, Blake. Okay. Uh, nothing really much, but just ready to go. Uh, ready Thanks to go. for having me. Good. No, thank yeah. you. And guys, thanks for being great guests on uh, Sandy's Bash blog number five and let's have a great show on Saturday and thanks again and uh, let's do this and let's finish off with a big fat oosh give us an oosh Australian style <laughs> oosh that'll do <laughs> <laughs> it's a wrap <laughs>